Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross tutorial video. Haven't done this in a while because, well, don't really have a lot of time. <laughs> but anyway, that aside, finally I have some bit of time and let's talk about how to manually well, set up your diva team for high score purposes. So, in my other, well, Time across tutorial video, I didn't really show how to manually set up a team. Um, specifically, it's more of uh, the lazy man's way of just go with the auto setup and hope for the best. <laughs> so now things got a bit, you know, complicated now in the modern years of or the later years of Full Time Across. We are, we are reaching 3 years of full time macros and with a lot of new plates coming around uh, things have been a bit well, difficult to obtain uh, especially in high score purposes ever since they've introduced certain mechanics with the episode plates from recent events and of course with the inclusion of si 7 stars uh, things have rather been well, interesting with the auto button, let's say. So, at this point of time that I'm recording, it is still 10 days left uh, with the Valentine's mission. And that's one of the main reasons why I decided to make this tutorial video to show you guys um, how you can achieve that mission clear. For well, one of the missions, or rather a lot of the missions nowadays that require you to obtain 3 million high score or well the clearing of the mission so as you can tell i've already cleared all the missions that is required for the valentine's missions um, and of course to obtain all the wonderful goodies that you can get from here and of course one of the probably most annoying ones um, that free to play players will face is the high score challenge which is basically this one which is um, to clear any Macross Delta song with a 3 million score or more. Well, if you guys have seen my updates on my YouTube Facebook page, you know that the rest of the missions are pretty much all based on money and of course luck. If you're a free-to-play player and you're capable of attaining the 7 star uh, episode plate or rather the base 6 star episode plate for Freya's brand new 7 star plate, you should be able to unlock the rest of them and of course if you manage to obtain Kaname's well, uh, Wakure ga Ura Giranai costume you are able to clear the rest of the missions as well but you know I've already given all my takes on those missions on my YouTube Facebook page make sure you follow me the links in the description down below as always uh, because informations like those or these uh, they aren't well that important that requires a video to be made. <laughs> so let's talk about how you can obtain a 3 million high score with a proper manual setup diva team which will definitely work a lot better um, when it comes to you know getting high score achievements for missions or even to rank yourself properly. Um, during events that require a high score achievement, you know, because like the first event of the month, um, the ticketing event, they do have an achievement that requires a high score from the event song itself. So yeah, that kind of thing. So like for this mission, I'm just going to show you a particular song from Macross Delta. Uh, any song actually, but um, this time round, rather because most of the events here, or rather the you know missions require you to clear, or rather yeah, some of them require you to play like Walkure or Ura Giranai. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna play Walkure or Ura Giranai just for an example, you know, to show that you can clear this mission um, alongside with this one, you know, the three million requirement. So here we go, let's move into the song department. Hopefully I don't get cop copyright strike. I'm gonna lower the music volume for this portion here. So I'm 
as you can tell, Wakuri Wakura Giranai has a special event song slot because, well, well, they, 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 they just purposely want to make it easier for you to clear the missions and of course, um, you know, gain extra resources at the same time. So, okay, I'm going to show you with the very hard version because I'm sure this is probably the bare minimum that most people should be able to clear. I am not pos I am not capable of clearing extreme myself, that's why it is still new without being touched. So first thing first, tap into the very hard mode and of course choose a, well, a support that has a very good episode plate. You know, um, it's always best to go with 6 star episode plates that are like in the Kira Kira mode. It, that shows that they have fully powered up the episode plate um, and it has all the luck notes slotted in and yes if you guys have still no idea what luck notes are uh, I apologize because well I have not made a video regarding explanation of what the luck notes do so as you can tell with all the luck notes slotted in you gain all this extra bonuses um, if it gets activated of course the chance of activation is pretty low so that's why um, it's always good to have them around even though the chances are low because that little boost by these skills um, it's it's gonna do a very fast difference so always look for episode plates that are fully evolved um, that are under your support list and of course you want to make sure that the episode plate has a life skill you know that helps boost high score so as you can tell this episode plate is not that fantastic in terms of high score support so we are not going to use it and of course we're going to refresh and to look for something better you know the seven star plates are always good because they have a very good total high score um, but sometimes you know having a kira plate a 6 star fully evolved episode plate um, with a Kira effect is going to be better than a 7 star plate that doesn't have a Kira effect so yes we're gonna try uh, randomizing oh there we go we have a pretty good plate here Run Runka's plate here is actually a good center position episode plate but you know um, I guess we could probably use it for its good total score at the same time it is fully slotted here so that's probably one of the reasons you can probably choose it but you know sometimes yeah, the seven star might look a bit more appealing at this point in time so let's try refreshing until we get something decent oh the this one might be decent let's see uh where is the plate wait did, did the person put it under the luck column Oh, there we go. So, life skill. Um, oh, it's a recovery life skill. Okay, so let's move on because it's definitely not something we want. We don't need a recovery life skill to help us attain a good high score. As you can tell, we're having a hard time getting a good life skill support from the people under the friends list. You know, sometimes these people are just randomly picked by the game. Um, and they aren't in your friend list so that's one of the things that you really need to take note of um, especially if you're a hardcore Utah Macross player the people you add in your friend list does play a critical point hmm okay so you know this Ranka plate has a pretty decent total score um, I guess we're gonna go with that you know so even though it doesn't have a very good life skill support for high score um, so okay, now the thing about your diva team, it's always good to have your center diva that is from that generation the song is from, you know, because it actually helps boost um, the stats overall. I mean, you can have other generation divas inside, uh, but you know, as long as the uh, base stats are similar to. Like maybe for example, since we're playing a Macross Delta song, 
Uh, as long as Min Mei's base stats are similar to uh, one of the Valkyrie members, uh, it's pretty much okay. And of course, after that, this all about the costumes that you equip on to your diva. So alright, so I'm just gonna go by example right now and I'm gonna have Freya you know as my center then of course we're gonna have Basara and uh, Milane uh, as a side. So first thing first let's change the center episode plate and we're gonna have of course well I have Freya's brand new plate here so we're gonna go with a six star a fully evolved six star and of course since since we're selected as active skill you can see what episode plates have what skills here by that circle at the bottom left side so we're gonna look for high score boost so where is Freya's plate and the color we're looking for for the skill is yellow there we go so I do have Kanami and Freya's plate six stars so I was pretty lucky and um, yeah, so there we go. Okay, so now the thing is, in the past, what I recommended was basically to activate this, um, where the center center position episode plate is the only one that doesn't get changed. So last time I recommended an auto setup. As you can tell, one of the reasons why I had to make this video now is because there are these brand new episode plates that are from the red boss battles. Now these plates are fantastic because they have, well, high total score. But the only issue is that these episode plates only activate their life skills on, well, particular um, songs or uh, you know elements or series that the song is under. So that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so. Uh, there is no red boss episode plate that actually activates during a rainbow color which is what Wakure Wakura Giranai is. It's an all element um, series song so these red boss plates actually do nothing to help you. So that's why I had to make a manual tutorial video on how you can obtain a good high score. So let's change all these episode plates because these are all red boss episode plates oh god even though yes i do have a kira version i i wanted it kira because it's ranka and cheryl and, and it's a good job episode plate with a very nice illustration and sadly to say the skill only activates if you play on good job so yeah it's pointless so all right let's start with changing freya's episode plates first so what i want to do is I'm going to select Life Skill. Alright, we're going to have them at 6 stars. And because it is Freya that's equipping the plates, let's select Freya. So the only episode plates that work on Freya will appear. So here we go. So first thing first, we're going to choose episode plates with the high score achievement ability. So like this one, um, it has a high score boost, but it comes along with other abilities so maybe if you really really want to aim for a high score achievement you definitely want to select uh, episode plate with like a very high percentage boost for high score even though the episode plate might be under kira kira effect which means that you have a higher chance of excellence uh, appearing that kind of stuff but you know you have to weigh in consideration because even if you get excellence coming up but the percentage boost is low um, you might want to reconsider choosing another episode plate so let's change the second one first all right we have this episode plate so Brera's uh, total score is pretty low so let's move on to the next one and of course we have this one which is the brand new event episode plate that recently ended um, it's total score is not that fantastic so if you guys have um, these you know key art episode plates for Macross crossover life these are fantastic one main reason is because well they come with score notes so these are the episode plates you really really want to look out for so I'm gonna change this to that all right then we're gonna have another one so we're gonna compare like 
the total score. Yes, the Red Boss episode plates are definitely going to have higher total score. So you just want to look at what is best for you at the point of time. And of course, you want to see that your life skills are activated. That's why it is now lighted up instead of having all this Japanese text which says it won't be in use. So that's kind of a bummer. Then of course, you want to take close attention to the special notes attached to those episode plates as well. So I will be making um, episodes or rather tutorial videos in the future regarding episode plates with special notes and of course you know the top tiering episode plates for a particular diva that kind of stuff. So let's skip all the red boss episode plates which is a lot of them. Um, okay so we have another one here that has a high score achievement ability as well. but. You know, at the sacrifice of life, which is fine. We're playing very hard. Not like it's extreme. Unless you can perfect full combo. You know, uh, perfect, I guess. So let's equip this one. And Freya is actually done. So let's move on to Basara. Same thing. We're going to have it, you know, luck skill highlighted, six stars. And of course, now we're going to choose Basara only. There we go, so we have all the plates that actually belong to Basara, or rather Basara can make use of. So let's take a look at this, uh, Reyna's on 50%, uh, nah, let's move on. Alright, looking for better plates, uh, all the red boss battle plates, oh my goodness. Alright, so what about Cheryl's episode plate? Oh, another score and damage, that's pretty okay, so I guess we can have that. Um, just have to pay attention to the HP, uh, don't want to let it drop too low. Then we have score up, this is an event episode play as well. Um, the total score isn't that high, so maybe not. Alright, what about this one? So I know this might be a problem for free to play players, but I'm sure you have some pretty decent episode plays within your own collection. If you've been playing um, vigilantly throughout the years that Uta Macross has been running, I mean, if you're very, very new, I'm sure you have some kind of good luck at some point in time, and you probably have better plates than I do. Um, so, yeah. Score and damage. Oh, this is pretty okay. Um, it doesn't have a special note attached to it. That's, that's fine. So, uh, right, let's move on to the last one. Score up. This is for a short duration song though. Uh, Wakure wa Uragira Nai is a pretty long song, so maybe something else. Score up. Nope. Okay, score up again. What about this one? A score up as well. What about this one? Oh, score and repeat. Now, this is pretty fantastic, so even though it does have a pretty decent average total score and you know it has a pretty good life skill um, sadly to say this episode plate if you did not fully evolve it you can't get it anymore unless you have gotten at least a single copy because this was a event exclusive from the Nyan Kuji so if you missed out on this, I'm sorry, you can't get it anymore. But for those who have gotten it, I would highly recommend you to evolve it because it is pretty decent episode plate and it's usable by all the divas. So it's a very good episode plate to help you attain those high scores. So here we go, Basara is done. Let's move on to Milane. Yes, as you can tell, getting a manual setup team is a bit of a hassle because you have to go through looking one by one and yeah it's pretty annoying oh I have Kaname there but she doesn't really boost high score uh, in terms of life skill so maybe not oh I do have this plate though so as you can tell um, good plate you know because all the key arts uh, always come with the high score note which is fantastic so if these episode plates come around in gachas again make sure you try and obtain them all right moving along or uh, skipping along all the red boss plates and okay let's take a look at this one this one belongs to Milane. score repeat fantastic let's go with that all right and 
Let's just check this one out. Score and damage. Pretty good. Alright, so we've got quite a few plates of score and damage though. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Imagine your HP dropped by a drastic amount just because of 3 plates. Oh, we do have score repeat on this one. I guess this will be good too. Hmm. Okay, so let's attach this on first. Then we can compare. Like, Freya's plate is definitely better than Mikomo's in terms of total score. Um, so yeah, you can actually compare after you've matched, I mean if you equip onto them, you can just compare to see which is better. So, oh this is the same skill, but has a better total score. Okay, so we're changing this up. So this is, this is basically how you manually set up episode plates. You compare what you have, and then of course, you make sure that you you are fully setting up, you know, for a better achievement. As you can tell, the the yellow star element plate is definitely got better stats than the blue one. So yeah, we're changing things up. Okay, so that's about it. So um now about the costumes, what I would recommend is have all the divas, you know, equip their basic costumes. Um, if you have not powered them up, they shouldn't have, you know, stat effects on them. But, you know, since I'm a old player by now, all my basic costumes have boosted stats in some kind of manner. But, you know, because this one is for fold, it doesn't really affect the high score. So, what you want to do is have all your divas equipped with basic costumes. Then, from here, tap this. And take a look at your stats for each of the, um, you know, the individual elements that affects your high score. Then you want to wear costumes that help boost the uh, the major, uh, you know, stat that actually affects your setup. So soul is the biggest. Um, followed by voice and charm which is pretty balanced so let's change things up we're gonna have Milene and Freya and Basara wear costumes that help boost soul alright so let's we have you know you do have costumes that boost a lot of percentage like 12% if you have fully powered them up under the Kiawawa rank which is very important so unlocking costumes is now taking its effect if you have not unlocked certain costumes like me, I have some costumes here that have not been unlocked. Yes, including the alternate costume colors. I have not unlocked some of them. So, um, yeah, like, okay, thank goodness none of the un non-unlocked costumes here uh, are what I'm looking for. So we have soul and voice 6% increase. We have this one which is a 12% increase for Soul. So let's have Milane wear this because that's what we really want to boost at this point in time. Alright, and of course since this is Wakure Waura Giranai, I'm gonna have Freya wear her main costume that is unlocked with the episode plate. Total 10% up. That is fantastic. <laughs> So that's one of the reasons why it is uh, locked behind a 6 star episode plate. It has a fantastic costume skill and it looks cute as well. Oh god, uh, Dana really knows how to milk our money. So here we go, we're gonna uh, choose something from Basara as well. I mean there is a costume that has like a soul for 12% uh, sorry. Um, so yeah, so the only costumes I haven't unlocked for Basara is both of his alternate colors. So that's that's for another day. So total 4% up, not a lot. Voice 12%, total 5%. Uh, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think we should just go with Soul 12%. There we go. Alright, so we are good to go. Alright, so if you want to keep trying to attain a better good high score, um, I would recommend you to save your team setup. And usually I'll just have one slot 
for the miscellaneous stuff, which is always my first slot. So I always have it standby. So it is a pretty good setup. So you can tell for yourself here. If you want to take a look at the high score bar, oh wait, it's only seen on the manual setup here. So let's change this back. So you can see, oh wait, the total high score is at the bottom. So, <laughs> all right, so let's zoom out as you can see. I've maxed out my view and the bar stretches all the way across. Now, my episode plate setup here is not the best because all of these episode plates are not in the Kira Kira mode, which means that I don't have a lot, or rather almost nothing to do with excellent touches. You know, so that's kind of a bummer. But if you want to take a look at the excellent stats here, you have I have 4% chance of getting excellent taps. You know, then of course you have like series bonus. Sadly to say, I've got no series bonus, huh? Oh, wait, I have forgotten to change the Valkyrie as well. So, <laughs> yes, the Valkyrie plays an important part as well. So, I'm gonna change up to a Macross Del Delta Valkyrie. So let's change this here. I currently have it as Frontier. So the best plane right now, we're probably gonna look for an offensive plane. So if you unlock Valkyries um, that have you know skills that boost offense, which I have not done so <laughs> because I've only been focusing on Valkyries that help VOP. So that's kind of a bummer. You can tell most of the skills are all like VOP. Oh no. Okay, so this one has like, um, if you use it for a Macross Delta song, you have um, your life and your attack stat boosted by one point. So that's pretty nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, all these have something to do with VOP. This one is just life. Uh, attack by two, that's pretty nice as well. Okay. Attack by two. Okay, I, I think we just go with attack by two. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We got some boost in terms of Valkyrie. You know, so that when you go through the um, Valkyrie attack phase, you're gonna have a higher chance of defeating the opponents. I mean, with a uh, episode plate set up like this, you shouldn't worry too much about the Valkyrie attack phase. You know, you definitely defeat the enemy and of course have uh, Cho Utahime mode activated, which is going to help you with your high score achievements as well. Because if you have Cho Utahime mode activated, you're gonna have those um, special, or rather your, your, your touches are going to be boosted in terms of score as well. So, although the bare minimum you need is actually just Kuta Hime mode, as long as you survive through the Valkyrie attack phase, have the enemy defeated, you know, with not much extra damage dealt, um, Kuta Hime mode is more than enough because that's how you gain the uh, boost in score for every touch after the Valkyrie attack phase finishes. So, that's one of the main things that you want to pay attention to. Alright, so with all that said, of course, if you have all these activated as well, that's a uh, fantastic stuff. You know, all these are unlockable by um, your Kawawa rank, which is your costume upgrades. If you maximize all your costumes you have available, you should be fine. So make sure you pay attention to all this if you want to do this full manual setup style of high score. So as you can tell, we are all out and all ready to get a brand new high score. Hopefully, with just a single play, we will attain that 3 million high score as intended for clearing the uh, Valentine's Day missions, which is very important for you guys, especially for all the free-to-play players. And of course, hopefully all this information is helpful to you guys to achieve your own goals. So with this said, I'm going to fast forward this portion because, well, music is copyrighted. Alright, as you can tell, I broke on purpose just to show you uh, a kind of average score that if you break your combo, you might attain because 
if you guys are experienced with playing Uta Macross, you probably can tell even if you just break once, depending on where you break through the song, um, your high score will change very drastically. If you broke early in the song, let's say for example, let's have the view here. So, um, if let's say for example you broke somewhere at the beginning, then you you basically did not break ever since then throughout the rest of the song, you will still attain a pretty decent high score. Um, better than if you broke in the middle or near the end um, because well the combo multiplier is basically what keeps your high score afloat and of course even if you got a full perfect combo that will help you out a, a lot as well and of course the excellent touches so instantly as you can tell here with a manual setup for a full team you should be easily attaining a 3 million high score to achieve um, all this mission clearing and of course you know it really depends on your own personal luck as well with your own gacha pools uh, hopefully you've been playing smart enough you know like um, what kind of episode plates you should be powering up which you should be using your items on to power up so I will be making videos on episode plates um, which should be focused on for high score achievements. Um, I've already given you some kind of glimpse through this manual setup tutorial video. Hopefully you caught some glimpse of it and get some kind of understanding on what kind of plates you should be focusing on. But I will make things all very clear in the upcoming tutorial videos, uh, hopefully very soon. And all the best to you guys as well for clearing out all these um, High score achieving missions that requires a pretty, uh, well, tough to clear mission high score, especially for free to play players. For players like us who have um, spent a bit of money, of course, we have a vast variety of episode plates on our hands, and hopefully, you've been, you know, trying to obtain the proper episode plates for high score achievements. You know, uh, aside from pulling your favorite Divas episode plates, there are certain episode plates that come up every gacha that really don't matter at all. Well, maybe except for unlocking costumes, which is also another factor of high score achievements. But aside from all that, there are certain things that you just need to focus on. And well, we'll talk about all these later on. Until then, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this pretty long explanation tutorial video on how you can manually set up your diva team to achieve a pretty decent high score for yourself and of course to clear missions that require such high scores and of course maybe to future set up for your own um, high score ranking achievements for events that require such a thing so anyway guys thank you guys Again, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video and maybe mention whatever I might have missed out. I don't think I have. But, you know, in all due time, all these important tutorial videos will come along um, once I've gotten more free time to do recordings, recordings, because some of these tutorial videos are a bit difficult to put together because of the information required to... Uh, be a team. Yeah, you will know why in the future. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. Leave a like on this video if you found the information useful as always. Subscribe to the channel for more useful content like this for Utah Macross and whatever content I release in the future. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!